Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's me, and today I'm gonna go off on a little bit of a rant. Ahsoka sucks. And don't forget, as usual, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. All right, so I'm a Star Wars fan. I've been there from the very beginning. I have everything. I have lightsabers. My whole family's got them. I have prop replicas. Han shot first. I have the original action figures. Wampa. I have the original Star Wars cards. Thousands and thousands of them. Number one, Luke Skywalker. Okay, so all that being said, I'm a Star Wars fan, not a fanboy. Ahsoka sucks. It sucks bad. And for that matter, right now, Star Wars does too. So I'm going to use logic and reason for part of this rant. Logic and reason on the internet? What are you, nuts? It's worth a shot. I'm sorry. I had to interrupt this. Back up. D draw them out. <laughs> They're in the open. They're all standing there in this big gigantic room. They're in the open. Draw one out. Or how about this? We have three Jedi here fighting all of these guys, yet there's like one or two blasters going off at the same time in the entire battle, in the entire thing, as if 14, 15 guys wouldn't just be firing the heck out of it. Do they only have, are they like the old like uh, revolutionary rifles where they take one and they have to put the powder in and they have to reload and then they can do it again? I mean, it's just so obnoxious and, and you're expected again to swallow this as if this is good writing or a good show. It's not, it's horrible. Work fast, I'm going out there. Out there? Out where? Just keep working, I'll distract them. <laughs> I'll distract them. <laughs> She's on the way to me. Ah, so you can jump and spin around and land on the ship. Good. And why are they not, why are they not firing at the ship? It's a sitting duck. All they have to do is shoot the ship, blow it up, and it's done, right? Done. So now, you just did that flippy thing again. Can't you just land on the ship again? So now she's floating and then she just tips a spaceship and oh, she attaches, oh, oh, everything's okay now. Oh, I'm so glad they explained that. That makes a lot of sense. Go, go, go. Nice trick. Got any more? Buckle. That was a good trick. That was a good trick. To think that we're that stupid that we're gonna watch this garbage and think it's okay. Oh, Jesus, oh my God. Last, the lightsabers. In the last few shows, what's so terrible is that they have taken lightsabers, which is the iconic weapon of Star Wars, and you've made it a joke. You've made it a joke. Think about the original Star Wars film. Obi-Wan slashes the guy's arm off in the cantina scene. Something so, one little moment so simple, you realize how devastating this, this weapon is, right? You had Luke's hand cut off in The Empire Strikes Back, an iconic moment, and now you get stabbed and it's no problem. All right, so let's take a look at this from a business perspective, okay? Disney, just like any other company, is in business to make money. That's what they're trying to do, and Disney trying to get you entertained so that you spend your money with them. But at this point, you can't. You're not gonna bring people in when the shows are this stupid. The conversation about 
Ahsoka in particular, has gone all over the place. And there are people who like the show and people who love the show, and that's completely fine. Good on you, right? However, here's the problem. The people who like it or love it, most of them are coming from people who have watched Rebels and The Clone Wars. So they feel this connection because they have all of this information in their head about the story already. And they're they're just looking to see something that's cool from that and bring it, and it, it's in Sokoka. Oh, it's in Ahsoka. Oh my God, it's awesome. And that's where I have an issue because here's the thing. No one else who hasn't seen those shows has that connection. Nobody cares. And from the business perspective, that show did not have a mass viewing of a bunch of people. It was a very, very small show on XD. So the issue is, is that if you're not writing a show, if they're not taking into account that they need to be universal in their storytelling to get new people in, you're only making those shows for that tiny group of people and you're not gonna get any growth from it. Think about this. Star Wars became the massive franchise that it was, was past tense, because it was a universal story. It was amazing. It dazzled audiences and people flocked to it in droves and loved every minute of it. If the story wasn't any good, no one would have gone and seen it. But also think about this. No one had any backstory of anything. No Luke, no Leia, no Han, no nothing, because it didn't exist until that point. When the masses went to see it, they fell in love with the story. And it was a story that anybody, any age, any race, any religion, any creed, anything you want, however you wanted to divide people up, it didn't make any difference. They all loved it. And they didn't need a course or read things or inf make them informed about any kind of backstory because it didn't matter. It was all self-contained right there in the film itself. That's why it was beloved. That's why people latched onto it because it was just so amazing. At this point, Disney is spending hundreds of millions of dollars to produce this show. And if you look at the actual ratings and how many people are watching this, it's a small amount of people. So you have a small amount of people who really appreciate it, who watched Clone Wars and Rebels, and you're spending all this money on that group, which is tiny, and you're not doing anything to bring anyone else in because they don't feel a connection to these characters like you might. From a business perspective, it's an absolute loss. You're spending all of this money and it's gonna go nowhere. Even the quality of that, if it was great, you might be able to start pulling people in, might, but I doubt that because the story is just not there. Listen, I don't want Star Wars to fail. I don't want it to be a problem. I want it to continue on and go upwards and upwards. But what's happened over the last few shows has been really just completely disappointing. You're, you're kind of uh, throwing it in the face of the fans who have been there from day one, and you're, you're basically doing these shows for a tiny amount of people without a universal story, a story that grabs people in to make them want to watch more. You're on a dead end street, and you're still trying to put the pedal to the metal and go straight on through. It's not gonna work. In a nutshell, what's wrong with the series? It's boring. It has no connection to the people, and you don't know unless you've watched those two shows, you have no connection to it. So they're throwing all these little member berries so that people are like, oh, 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 that's good. And the rest of the people who are trying to even give it a chance have no connection to it. They have no reason to like it. What's a shame is you have super high production value, obviously the money that they put into this, and it goes nowhere. The characters are boring. The dialogue is boring. Um, the acting on a few of them is, is somewhat okay. There are a couple of little things that are like, yeah, that was actually pretty decent. Even some of the choreography is actually not too bad, but that doesn't make the show. The show has to get you to be connected with those characters and care about them, and this basically does nothing. And again, the member berries when they're trying to connect you to things is just not enough to keep this show interesting or anything. They tried to finish it up at the end. They tried to throw, oh, oh, oh look, at, look at what's possible. Look what's possible. It's like, yeah, okay, look what's possible, but what about here? What about now? What about this show? Did you literally take the entire season to just give us a, maybe there's something cooler down the road? To me, that's a huge fail. Okay, so what do I give this show? 50. 
I'm gonna give it a 50%. I am not gonna be a fanboy. I'm not gonna be a hater and say this, it's a zero. It's not a zero, but it doesn't deserve more than 50%. And that basically goes for its production value. Uh, there are a few moments that are actually pretty decent. Uh, some of the fight choreography is actually decent as well, but the story and everything else, completely flat. It goes nowhere. And for the reasons that I've mentioned in here, 50 is all it gets. All right, everybody, that wraps it up for me. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.